Hello, welcome back once again. Today I have cooked another nice problem here. And today we're going to find the sum of the sixth powers of A and B. We give it that A plus B equals 2, A squared plus B squared equals 3. And here we're going to evaluate 8 to the power of 6 plus B to the power of 6. Okay, the first thing to do here is to find the product of A and B. I think that will be very helpful, right? So from equation 1, we have a plus b equals 2, so we got to square both sides. Then from the left, this equals a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a times b. This equals 2 squared, which is 4. From the given equation, a squared plus b squared equals 3, so we get 3 plus 2ab, this equals 4. Subtract 3 from both sides, we get 2ab equals 1, and from here, we get a times b equals 1 over 2. Amazing. So what do we do next? I will advise us to first find the sum of the third power of a and b. Right? That is a cubed plus b cubed. So here, a cubed plus b cubed is given by the following property or formula that this equals a plus b cubed minus 3 times a times b into bracket a plus b. So you can see the reason why a times b's value is very helpful, right? So you can see it has come up here. Then this equals from the given equation a plus b is 2, so 2 cubed minus 3 times 1 over 2, then times a plus b, which is 2. From here we get 2 cubed, which is 8. This cancel this and we're left with minus 3. This equals 5. Beautiful. Then what of a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6? Remember, we can write this as a cubed squared plus b cubed squared. But before we proceed, take note. a squared plus b squared equals a plus b is a wonderful property squared minus 2 times a times b. With this property here, we call a cubed a, we call b cubed b. And from there we derive that this equals a cubed plus b cubed then squared minus 2a cubed b cubed, the same as 2, I mean a times b all cubed. So from here, this equals a cubed plus b cubed is 5, right? So we have 5 squared minus 2 into bracket here. a b equals 1 over 2, then we cube it, right? So from here, this equals 5 squared, which is 25, minus 2 times, this will be 1 over 8, right? This equals 25 all over 1, minus, that will be 1 over 4. Remember, 25 is the same as 100 divided by 4. We're trying to make equal denominator, and from here, we can subtract the numerator. 100 minus 1 is 99 divided by 4. And here is the right answer. Amazing. Thank you for watching. Please, if you really enjoyed this content, please kindly subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.